Welcome to our video on Voltage Controlled Current Sources, or VCCS. Today, we'll explore this fascinating electronic component that allows us to control current flow using voltage signals. By the end, you'll have a clear understanding of how VCCS works and its significance in electronic circuits. Let's start with the basics. A voltage-controlled current source consists of a circuit element that generates a current proportional to the voltage applied to it. This relationship is at the heart of the VCCS and is expressed through a simple equation, ID equals GM into VC. Here, ID represents the controlled current, while VC stands for the controlling voltage. The key factor that determines the current flowing through the VCCS is the conductance, represented by GM conductance is measured in Siemens, S, and is the reciprocal of resistance. It quantifies how easily current can pass through a component. The conductance, GM, plays a vital role in the VCCS operation. Higher conductance values allow for greater current flow for a given controlling voltage, while lower conductance values result in less current. So, by adjusting the conductance, we can control the amount of current flowing through the VCCS. Now, let's understand this concept using an analogy. Think of the VCCS as a faucet and the controlling voltage, VC, as the handle. When you turn the handle, you control the flow of water. Similarly, in a VCCS, when we adjust the controlling voltage, we control the flow of current. When we analyze or design electronic circuits, VCCS symbols and their behavior are crucial. The VCCS circuit symbol typically consists of an arrow representing the direction of current flow, with a voltage source connected to it. This symbol helps us identify and understand the presence of a VCCS in a circuit diagram. Now that we have a good grasp of VCCS, let's explore its practical applications. VCCS can be used in various areas, such as amplifiers, signal processing circuits, and control systems. By precisely controlling the current using an external voltage signal, we can achieve accurate amplification, filtering, and modulation in electronic systems. To summarize, a voltage-controlled current source, VCCS, is an electronic component that produces a current proportional to the voltage applied to it. The current is controlled by adjusting the controlling voltage using the equation ID equals GM into VC, where GM represents the conductance in Siemens, S. This relationship allows us to modulate current flow in electronic circuits and find applications in amplifiers, signal processing, and control systems. I hope this detailed explanation has shed light on the working principles and significance of voltage-controlled current sources. Armed with this knowledge, you're now better equipped to understand and analyze circuits incorporating VCCS. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more informative videos on electronic components and circuitry.